Okay, friends. So after doing research about horses, let's draw our own. So what you're going to do, let's start us out here. Find a color to draw my horse. Okay, so you're going to draw an oval for the horse's head. So first we're going to draw an oval and then we're going to put a little line, a little curved line through our oval. There we go. And we can add a little mouth for our horse. And two eyes. There we go. All right. Next, we're going to draw the horse's neck. So we're going to draw a line down this way, kind of a diagonal line, and then a line from the top of the head. There we go. All right. And then we're going to add a little kind of rounded edge square. Kind of looks like the end of a hockey stick. And then we will add our one, two, three, four legs on our horse. Um, if we want, we could add a saddle, like the horse in the story, um, and a little tail. You can do your tail however you want to, but mine has a little heart on the end. And then we need two ears, one, two, and I'm gonna color in the middle of those. And of course the horse needs a mane. So we'll just kind of start and do a mane coming down the back of the horse's neck. And there we go. So then um, you can color in your horse, um, find a color that you want to color in your horse. Go. Your horse could be different colors because horses sometimes can be different colors. We're going to make sure that we do a really good job and color in all of the parts of our horse so it looks really nice. I'm going to color the horse's snout in a darker color and also the mane, which is this fur, long fur at the back. The neck, there we go. And I'm going to give my horse a colorful Nice colorful pink saddle here. Pink and yellow, maybe we'll do pink and yellow. And there we go. There is my horse. And I remember from the picture that the horse had like little hooves, so I'm gonna draw those on the horse's feet. Okay, and then I want you to think about something that you learned um, from your reading. So, let's see. A horse lives in a herd. So I remember those groups that a horse lives in is a herd. And I want you to try sounding out your words. Remember to use your, um, your words you know and your alphabet linking chart so that you can use the words there and start to look for them there. Um, and I can't wait to see your writing.